Hello and welcome, this time, to a strange element, yeah? the so-called all-pass. Yeah? There's not even a short name for this, yeah? it's just called all-pass. Yeah? As the name already implies, the all pass element let pass all things. Yeah? There it's very similar to the last time's dead time element. It will also let pass all things and adds a dead time. The all pass element does exactly the same. Yeah? It lets pass all things and adds a dead time. However, this dead time is not is not going to unlimited. Yeah? It will stop at minus 180 degree the phase. Yeah? I will show you the formula. Yeah? The formula of the Ober's element GS is yeah, 1 minus ST, 1 plus ST. So there is this T, it's the same T, and 1 is minus, 1 is plus. Yeah? That's the formula of the all pass element. Which gives j omega equals one minus j omega t one plus j omega t. And if you're looking now at the absolute value, I mean this absolute value and this absolute value is exactly the same. Yeah? So it's Whatever divided by the same whatever, it's always one. Okay, so this means regardless of the frequency, we will let pass one always. Okay? And the argument okay, from G, J omega. Is the argument of this one minus the argument of this one? Okay, so it's arcos tangents from minus omega t minus arcos tangents from omega t. Okay, and if we now think if omega is growing. This will grow to minus 90 degree, yeah? because it's 1 plus omega t, and this omega is growing, this will grow to minus 90 degree. If omega is growing, this will grow to plus 90 degree, and in total minus 90 minus 90 is minus 180. And exactly if omega is t, yeah? If omega is t, 1 divided by t, we will have here uh, 45 degree, minus 45 degree. Here we have minus 45 degree, so we have minus 90 degree. So I will now say here, omega equals 1 divided by t. Yeah? Here we have minus 90 degree. And it will look like this. So very similar to a PT1 element, but this time not from 0 to 9 minus 90, but from 0 to minus 180. Okay. That's for the body plot. Okay. And then now simply tell you how the jump response looks like. Yeah. Here we're going to steer nothing happen. And then here suddenly we are jumping to and now I have to draw out of my grid. Yeah. Minus one. Yeah. There is a positive jump at the input. Yeah. Why is that? Because here are the high frequencies. High frequencies we have the same but 
exactly in the opposite direction. Minus 180 grade, uh, degree means exactly in the opposite direction. So we jump to minus 1. Yeah? And then here, this behaves then a little bit like a PT1 system. So here we had 1 tenth, so it's 10. Here we see the t, yeah, time constant, and this will go up to up to one. Okay. This is the beginning, and we will reach here one in the end. Okay. Low frequencies, zero degree. Still one. This is how the jump response looks like. Okay. This sometimes happening. This is sometimes happening that you open, you open something, yeah, and the first response is in the opposite direction of what you would expect. Yeah. One example, for instance, is a, a water power plant. No, there is a there's the water power plant. There is somewhere there is somewhere a dam. Then in this dam there is somewhere this tube and there is the turbine. Yeah. And then we go out to the river. Yeah. Here we have the generator. The reservoir, the lake, okay, the intake, okay. and here we want to control the power. There is power, electrical power. There is electrical power coming out of the generator. Okay. Now let's say we want to increase the electrical power. What do we have to do to increase the electrical power? We have to, of course, increase. Basically, actually, there are two options. Yeah? One option is increase the pressure here. Yeah? But this is not really an option because the pressure here is given by the level of the sea okay? or the level difference between the lower sea and the upper sea, or the river and the upper sea. Yeah? So, the only option I have is to increase the flow. Okay? The only option I have is just to open the water flow, to let more water run through the turbine. Then the, I would expect the electric power is rising. And it really does. Yeah? But dynamically, what is happening? Yeah? We have here a certain pressure. Yeah. Water is running through here, yeah. and here we have friction in the water, yeah. so this will, this will reduce the pressure a little bit, which is here. Yeah. So we have here a certain delta P, delta pressure, yeah. just because of the friction of the tube. Okay. And there is also mass, and this mass has some inertia. So if we open down here now the gate and say, okay, let more water flow, yeah, then it cannot suddenly accelerate. Yeah. It needs to be accelerated. It takes some time. Yeah. However, because here we open, yeah, we reduce, we reduce, we reduce the the uh, flow, uh, the, the, the friction of the flow, and it will run out very smoothly, okay? It will run out very smoothly, so the pressure here is dropping, and actually this pressure drop here is the one which will accelerate, which will accelerate the water column, okay? However, there is a pressure drop. We opened, we increased the flow a little bit, yeah, not too much, and we dropped the pressure, so the electrical pressure at first is dropping, okay? So we open the valve, let's call it valve here, yeah? 
Yeah? And the electrical pressure is dropping. And then this water column, this water is starting to flow, restoring the pressure here. And then we're coming up and the pressure, if the pressure is then up again, yeah, will be a little bit, little bit smaller than before because if there's more water running, there's more friction and we have a little bit more pressure loss. However, the pressure is then increasing and the flow is increasing and the electrical power is increasing. So at first, yeah, if we are opening, let's say, this is our regular power we have. Yeah? And then at this point in time, we are opening the gates here. Yeah? And then the electrical power is dropping and then it will increase and reach the new level. Okay? Whenever you see such a thing that at first it seems like to move in a different direction, yeah? there is some R pass element inside. This shows exactly this behavior. This is a little bit softer, yeah? but it's that behavior. Yeah? So this is one example of this. It's existing. All pass element. All pass. All pass. All pass. All pass. All pass element. Frequency response. Step response. Formula. Yeah? Next time. We're talking about a very close relative to the to the first order the first order delay system. Yeah? We're going to talk about a second order delay system. So a system with two memory uh, two two elements which can store energy. A PT2 element will be our next element. The next and final. Uh, luckily for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye